Joining us now is EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Tonhauser. Andreas, so many news headlines. It's so great to be here. This place is incredible. You're so lucky that you get to work here every day. Well, we're very excited having you here and welcoming you here in Rome. Thank you so much. What a wonderful blessing. Let's get into these news headlines. Give us some context. We talked about the story of Zollner, his resignation, yeah. the controversy around that. How should our viewers understand the news? Well, first of all, we have to say that Father Hans Zollner is really an authority when it comes to fighting this abuse crisis that the church sadly has experienced over the last years. And I think he needs to be taken seriously. His concerns that he voiced, uh, the, the things, the issues that he brought up, better be heard. And I'm sure they will be heard because we've also spoken to, to Tutela Minorum, so the Commission for the Protection of Minors, and we've spoken to the people working there for many years now who have heard thousands of victims, who've given them an ear and a voice, who tried to bring justice also to those victims. And I know that those victims have spoken to Pope Francis, and he said that the church is a leader in fighting sex abuse. So we're going to watch this one closely. Talk to me a little bit about something more positive, this Jubilee year. What does this mean? Yeah, so this Jubilee year, it's a really big thing, Monty, here, <laughs> here in Rome. Uh, just this week on Wednesday, Giorgio Meloni, Italy's prime minister, met with Cardinal Parolin, the secretary of state of the Vatican. There was the mayor of Rome there and also Archbishop Rino Fisichella, who is the pro-prefect of the Dicastery for Evangelization. He is tasked, actually, with organizing for the church this big Jubilee year. Wow. Tens of millions of tourists are expected extra on top of all those tourists that are coming to Rome already. And two billion... U.S. dollars are said they want to spend to clean up the city, to prepare it for this big event in 2025. For all the Catholic, it means an, a plenary indulgence when the Holy Father will open the Holy Door to St. Peter's Basilica and everybody who's coming here can receive this mercy. So trust and hope is also the message for this Jubilee year. That's so beautiful. And the Holy Door to St. Peter's Basilica right behind us, which is pretty it's great. Um, okay, a little more controversy there um, with Betchu. His trial is ongoing. No really big headlines this week, but the scandal in the church over this real estate investment and all of this money that went into yeah. something that wasn't really looked after. There wasn't a lot of transparency there. So what can we expect, expect from this going forward? Well, so there are not no, no big news right now, but I, I would like to say so our journalists here in the Vatican Bureau in many languages have been following this very closely. And what I would like to stress is that this whole trial never before has such a high ranking church official been put on trial. And this quest for transparency, also that, is, that Pope Francis has mentioned this many, many times, the need for transparency, especially when it comes to financials. This is something that we can see through such a trial. We're yet to see what will be the outcome, mm -hmm. and we don't know when that will be, but I think it's important to have such a trial that we're experiencing here in Rome. Well, I'm so grateful to be here with you, and I hope that you'll come visit us in Washington, D.C., so we can give you the same welcome. Thank you, Andreas. Thank you so much for being here.